So you're thinking about being a camp host? In this video, we'll show you some, if not all, of the things you'll be expected to do. So Rebecca, tell us what you're doing. I am filling out reservations for our new arrivals. We have 22 campers coming in today. After we write out the reservations, Either Sal or I will take the golf cart around the campground and hang them at the appropriate sites. This makes it easier for campers to find their sites upon arrival. Okay, after we hang the reservations in the morning, we go and check our bathrooms in our campground. We're looking for general cleanliness, picking up any garbage that's on the floor, stocking toilet paper, and dumping the trash can. And hopefully, there's no messes to clean up. No messes to clean up, it's going to be a good day. After we complete our morning bathroom checks, we'll have a two to three hour break between now and when campers start checking out around noon. This is a great time for breakfast and coffee and to complete some little things like filling out permits for our new arrivals. Unfortunately, there are some bad weather days we have to contend with, but we still have to get out there and get it done. I suppose we probably shouldn't complain since California seems to always be in desperate need of rain. Okay, so now we're off to start prepping sites for our new arrivals. Sometimes we only have a few, but mostly we have between 20 and 30 sites to clean, and this can take a couple hours. First thing we do is pick up the trash. Next, we check the bear boxes to make sure no one left anything behind. Fire pits frequently have to be shoveled out, but it really just depends on how much wood the previous campers burned and how long their stay was. And finally, we rake the site. We'll rake the area around the fire pit, the picnic table, and the bear box. Raking around the fire pit actually helps to remove any dry and flammable vegetation from around the area, but it also makes the site look nice. And as you can see, it's a dusty job. Yeah. 
one down, only 21 more sites to go. Okay, so now it's time to hit the bathrooms for the afternoon cleaning. This one's more involved in the morning checks because we're cleaning mirrors, sinks, toilets, sweeping the floor, and mopping when needed. And just like Sal was hoping for no major messes in the morning, I think everyone knows what we're talking about, we're hoping for the same in the afternoon. Should we come across something especially disgusting though, Sal kicks into gross mode and handles it like a pro. He's my hero. Okay, before we completely wrap everything up, there was something in this video that we didn't show you. And that was checking in campers. The reason for this is that our permits have sensitive information on it. And quite frankly, not everybody wants to be videotaped. But basically, checking in a camper requires us to get their address, vehicle information if they have it, and then we provide them with bear warnings, rules for the park, parking pass, and then we hang their permit. We do this until every camper is checked in. And that is a day in our lives as camp hosts. So we hope this video gave you some idea as to what you can expect if you're thinking about becoming a camp host as well. Please do keep in mind that every campground is different as is every campground manager. So your duties could vary somewhat, but in general, this should give you a good idea of what to expect. Keep an eye out for an upcoming video we have planned on the pros and cons of camp hosting. We are going to talk about the inconvenient and quite honestly, some of the annoying aspects of camp hosting that no one ever seems to tell you about before you accept the job. So keep an eye out for that. It should be entertaining and eye-opening. And on that note, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Show your support by subscribing to the channel. That will get you uh, a notification on any time we go ahead and get a new video out online. And until next time, we'll catch you down the road. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care. And let's not move so close together. You're bumping me. Okay. It? Yeah, I know. Cause I'm trying. Yeah. yeah. All right. And I am ready. We checked in every camper. And that is a day in our lives as camp hosts. Okay. Before we wrap, before. It's like what people say when they don't expect an answer back because there is no reply, right? Mm -hmm. So your inflection has to match what you're actually. So you're thinking of being a camp host? No, so you're thinking about being a, so, like, so you're thinking about being a camp host, are you? Okay, so you're thinking about being a camp host. Okay. With the British accent? That dog's taking a big old dump. Okay. So you're thinking about being a camp host. In this video, we'll show you some, if not all, of the things you'll be expected to do. I talked over you, I think, huh? That's fine.